All right, welcome to Spying on Friends. I'm spying on Kiri right now. Um, this looks like a very interesting... I think the opponent just blundered a piece. Takes, takes. Okay, good start, good start. And now there's a bit of tickle pressure on, on this pawn over here. Um, so it's actually a little bit difficult to develop this bishop. Uh, so that's pretty decent. Um, that was a very quick move. I think Kiri needs to... Um, he needs to have thought of what happens if you get attacked. And here, um, maybe moving the queen back to a safer square. Uh, it's a pretty hard move to play, but I think going all the way back is not a terrible idea. Uh, alternatively, you can kind of like tickle the knight, but I don't really love that. But it's a pretty decent play because you can double up the attackers. And then if the knight moves, you can maybe like tickle the queen. Um, that's interesting. Uh, you're still targeting the weak f pawn, but I think Black's better. Uh, Black's kind of like better play here is to castle queen side. I think the king side is very difficult to castle because this bishop is so stuck. Uh, There's just so much pressure here. Uh, so far, Kiri is playing pretty well. Um, I think maybe simplest way to play is to develop one of these two pieces and then castle king side. I don't think. Yeah, so this is good because if the push doesn't do anything, uh, you just move your knight again. You can move it anywhere, really. Okay, so now you can consider you can consider the queenside castle to protect this pawn. Uh, you can consider some rook b1. I don't love knight b4. It's probably a good move, but it's a little bit scary. Oh, now that I'm mentioning it, this is a little bit scary as well. But the thing is that Black's Dark Square Bishop is undeveloped and it's very difficult to <laughs> develop it. So, yeah, uh, the the cool thing with Curie's move, moving the Queen here, is that it prevents Queenside castling. And now this Bishop is very difficult to develop. Um, there's a lot of things you can do here. Uh, you could pull back to keep an eye on this pawn. You could also hit the queen with tempo and then take the pawn. Which actually sounds pretty decent. Okay, I think that was a little bit crazy. Um, really tactical, so... Okay, now, now you just pick up the queen. <laughs> okay, this was... I think that move was pretty crazy tactical. Uh, computer thought white was fine, because this position, look how amazing this position is, but... Okay, great, great find, great find. Um, pick up the queen. Great, that was fantastic. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna challenge this guy. I'll, I'll play as black. Um, let's see. Let's see if he sees my challenge. <coughs> Let's see if he sees my challenge. I hope he does. Alright, let's go. Let's go. I double his rating. Okay. Me Should I play Stafford Gambit? Oh my god. I've never played this before, but let's do it. Okay, he's a little bit scared. Uh, this is actually a pretty good idea here. Um... Because it also controls my bishop. Uh, it's... I mean, it's possible to move it here, but it's also a little bit more difficult. So at this point, I'm just going to develop. Because I, I think he does like playing this knight g5 stuff. Uh, so I have to move this guy. Uh, and if I don't move this guy, if I... Okay, this is a pretty interesting play. Um... I'm actually not sure what the best way to deal with this is, but if he decides... Okay, uh, I don't think that was a good play. Um, just because this, this pawn is kind of forever weak. So I can actually target this pawn right now. No, not anymore. But I think castling is okay. Uh, I need to decide where I want to put this bishop. Eventually... Okay, maybe it's not a pressing issue. I think I can... I'm going to go after this pawn. 
I'm gonna go after this pine and we'll we'll see what happens. I'm using like I think this is a it's not that it's not that it's a bad way to play in general. I think it's bad because he's playing me. Uh, someone who's double his reigning and he's playing this kind of like slow positional game. Just because I understand like, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't say I understand, but I understand better uh, like positional play, stuff like that. So uh, this is not an actual target. Um, I think I can... Uh, if he goes for this, uh, I think that's a bad play. Another thing I can do is uh, attack the pawn with this knight. Hmm. Maybe I do this knight first. I'm trying to think. No, 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 because... No, okay, I see, I see. Uh, so now I can attack it, right? Takes, takes... Or do I pin first? Ooh, 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 pin first. Or do I take first? I feel like, you know, closed positions, um, like a straight up pawn blunder is a little bit tough. And then if you attack me with rook over, I'm just going to move like back. Or I could even move this way, but I, I think I like... Or maybe not. Um, hmm. No, no, I think this square is better than this square. Okay, I, I'm I'm pretty sure that point is a piece. Okay. 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 Um. I got some trick where like I could play here after the fork could just move back, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I think that's just fancy for no reason. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh. That that's actually a little bit decent. Um. That's a little bit decent. I can consider queen trade. Uh, or I could consider forking. Um, so I think this move's a little bit brutal because... Um, yeah, as it just is. <clears throat> yeah. This is like what happens when... Like, I don't think Kiri played... Bad. I think he just kind of, well, he played good in the opening, he played a lot of positional moves, and then he made blunders, uh, but when it's 1600 versus 700, that's going to happen. I don't blame him at all. Like, if I was playing a 2000 player, and I decided to play this kind of slow positional Italian, uh, I would get slaughtered as well. Uh, this is, is there anything better than taking Rook? I don't, let me think about this. I don't think there's anything better. I didn't have to take there because um, this was kind of covered. Uh, I don't want to go too nuts with going queen here. Uh, you know what? That's a bit of a fork, but then rook over here, here. Actually, it's not that bad. Um, no, it is bad because my queen gets trapped. <laughs> okay, um... Let's just play this very conservative move. Very conservative. And I'm not I'm not really scared of this move. Um, no, no, no. I, I'm totally not scared because I can just take. Takes, takes. In fact, I can go on the offensive with this move. It's uh, hitting the bishop. Well, not really hitting the bishop, but you know, putting a little bit of tickle pressure on the on the bishop. Uh, I actually had a, this kind of a trick, um, <clears throat> but I don't think it's very fruitful. Because you can just sit here, uh, but it kind of paralyzes a queen. But then you can just defend like this, so... I don't... I, I like the... I, I like what I'm doing here. So I think once I defend b7, I have a move like that to fork the two pawns. Um... <clears throat> I mean that's not actually a fork. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. I think I think this is the beginning of the end because you're weakening your king. Um, I'm just trying to think of a way to really exploit this. 
I think a way to do it. Um, I think I can slide here, here. The idea to put the queen here and then here checkmate. I, th I think that's what I'm going to try. Because white has no play here. <clears throat> white has no play here. This move, yeah. I think it's just like opening blunders. Um, he blundered the piece here where I took twice on this square. Uh, I think that was a big blunder. Uh, I think blundering the central pawn is not that big of a deal. Um, I mean, it, it, it is because we're playing a slow game, uh, like a slow non-tactical game. So that's kind of an issue. So you play a slow tactical game and then you blunder uh, a central pawn. That's not good. But I think typically at like sub a thousand, it doesn't really matter that much. So yeah, um, ooh, that that's actually a really good move. I think. I, I don't think danger levels works. Um, that's actually a really good defensive move. Um, I think maybe I could slide back. Uh, I'm gonna try to slide back. Because the problem is that if I go here, he moves a queen, and then like by the time I try to like slide over, you can maybe like tuck your stuff in here. So I, I don't I need to abandon my idea. Um Let me think. This is really resilient defense. I'm gonna And now this move is possible. But I also I also don't think it's the best move in the world. Or I could just play something like this. I think that's okay. No, but then if here, what do I do? Then I would play here, I think. Okay. Let's just keep keep pieces on the board, because white has no play. Um, normally I would just like simplify, just play brain dead, uh, trade, the, you know, trade the bishops and whatever. But in this position, um, I can milk it a little bit, because there's a lot of weak light squares around the, the king. So the thing you need to be careful of is what pieces your opponent has on the board. So I have a light square bishop, and you're kind of destabilizing the light squares. So that's a bit of a problem. And I... I, I also think, like, especially at lower... Well, I think e at my level, it's hard to make these, like, oops, you know... Admit to your mistakes. Okay, um... I actually think that maybe... So I'm not scared of this diagonal. Uh, so if this pawn wasn't here, I'd be a little bit more scared to play a move like this. But I'm not. Uh, I'm not scared. Uh, so, so the idea here is if you push, you're overextending and your king is extremely weak. And then if you take, I take. And then if you do nothing, I'm okay with that too. Um, I can start asking for trades. Uh, you, you know, I, I could even take. Like, I don't think taking is out of the question. Yeah, see? Um, I can ask for the trade here. And I'm up a full piece. I'm up a full piece, and I have a central presence. Like, my, my pawns are in the center. And, um... This pawn can be a weakness. I th like, like, I don't think it's a strength, at the very least. Um, it might not be a weakness, but it's not a strength. Okay, uh, th this blunders a piece. Uh, you have to think about... Um, so, so I see the idea is to deflect my bishop from the defense of the queen. Uh, but if I flip the move order, I just win the bishop. And I win it with tempo on the rook. Uh, so you need to consider obvious moves. Uh... They say checks, captures, and attacks. But for something like this, uh, just consider captures. Um, obvious captures. So there are two obvious captures here. There's bishop takes bishop, which is what you want. You, you'd win the queen. But then the other obvious capture is queen takes queen. Um, I, I guess the bishop can go back. Um, so it's not as disastrous as I initially thought. Okay, I, I think bishop takes is better because now you lose a bishop. Um, yeah, I, I saw rook takes, and I was like, oh, that blunders a piece. But actually, bishop takes, 
Uh, and then maybe you can like slide here and just kind of like exert defensive pressure and make it really hard for my rooks to move. Because if you think about it, okay, th this forks the pawns. I don't think there's, this is a point of no return. Uh, I I'm up, I'm up way too much. Uh, there's actually no way to defend this pawn. I can almost pre-move this, uh, but I want to see what Kiri does. Because it could, yeah, yeah, I could do that. And then if you attack here, um, here's the thing. I, I'm tempted to slide back this way. Uh, I'm tempted to slide back, but I, I can get avalanche here. But if I do get av avalanche, I don't really care that much because I can play this move over, he over here. Uh, I could also temple you this way, but I, I don't think this square does anything. I quite like this square. So I'm, I'm just going to keep my bishop on this diagonal. And here, I'm winning by a lot. I think this is going to be the finishing blow. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so if push, I'm just going to push forward, I think. Um, so let's just... Let's just... Um, I, I'm, I'm trying to decide which rook moves better. I, I think this one might be a little bit better. Because uh, I actually don't know where this... Whether I want to double or, or what. Um, actually, I had a winning idea, but my idea was to bring the bishop here and then go here and target the, the light squares. Uh, but Kiri's actually denied that, so that's actually a pretty decent play from from him. Uh, I, th I think I'm just going to play this move. And the idea is not to get my bishop to safety. It's to push c6 and d5. Uh, so... So I'm just going to push here. Uh, I'm not worried about this rook. Um, I've mentioned this several times before, but a rook can't... Okay, hold on. I, I need to think here. Um, it's not a threat. The king is not a threat. But I just want to deny like obvious squares from... There, there's no trick because there's a lot of pawn moves here. So... Um, Let's just do this, and then, uh, you know what, I, I think the game is safer without bishops, so. <laughs> okay, I, I see what he's playing for, I see what he's playing for, but I don't think it's going to work. Because <laughs> he has too many pawn moves, <laughs> that's a problem. Uh, <clears throat> so I could even do something like this, to cut the king off. And then I'll play this, and then this. Okay, GG, GG, okay. Alright, so I think that does it for today. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. See you later. <laughs> okay, so, so Kiri actually wants a rematch. Uh, so I'm going to start the recording again. Uh, I'm not sure what I want to play. I'm going to play the Kali system. Or should I play something more exciting? Ooh, 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 ooh. This is like the Ali, 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 Ali defense, but on the other side. Uh, the, the, the knight has like really weird squares on this side. If it was this side and the knight was here and I attacked it, the knight has fewer squares. Um, but I'm just going to play my normal stuff. I think it's a better move. I could have just played this. I keep forgetting because I'm, I'm an e4 player. I keep forgetting the queen actually covers <laughs> d4. Okay, th this has kind of transposed into... I don't, I don't even know what this is, but yeah. Uh, if I could stack attackers on this square, that would be okay. <clears throat> so, I don't, I don't think that's... No way, dude. No way. There's no way. <laughs> no freaking way. Okay, I I'm going to attack down this file. <laughs> There's no way that's a move. <laughs> okay, just gonna get my water. <clears throat> I understand you have my rating, but <laughs> if you're gonna go crazy, you you need like you need some logic to the crazy. <laughs> like there's no way that works. <laughs> or or I think 
I think he was expecting a block here <laughs> it just took I don't think he realized that pawn pawn blocking is a really good move like like in these d4 positions okay that, that's actually pretty decent um takes takes uh that, that's actually pretty decent because if I if I defend there's always stuff like this and like I know I can move back but it gets a little bit scary <laughs> Okay, uh, I, I wonder if like queen defense is good, but I don't think it is because it blocks this bishop. But it might not be the worst thing in the world. Uh, okay, okay, um, I think... I think I'm gonna develop this guy first. And then if he takes, I will take. And then th this knight is pinned. Um, okay. Okay, um... <clears throat> I see the idea. Do I just take now? I think I just take now. I, I'm not, I'm not opposed to playing in this position. Whoa, 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 whoa! You just sacked another piece. That is crazy, dude. Uh, I, I could go for the trade since I'm already winning by two pieces, or I could just go for the pawn. But the pawn gives a move like this, and then I go here here so I, th I think the pawn's okay I'm underdeveloped so I'm playing with fire here but then Curie is also underdeveloped but this bishop is actually pretty decent so let's let's just take in castle this is the easiest way to play okay opposite side castling very nice very nice um, I'm not that scared though because after takes takes I can kind of clamp down and you can lash out with your pawn, your pawns. Uh, I think the scary thing here is that he, with his sacrifice, it's not just material. He gave me the open B foul. Uh, so I think I'm just going to support this pawn move first. I, I don't think I actually want to break. Okay, I, I don't know about that capture because you have no way to hit this knight. This knight, like you need to do some crazy maneuvers here. Okay, okay, uh, that's actually not the worst thing in the world uh, i don't want to move this pawn it could be a good idea for curie to target this pawn but i don't think there's a way to actually target it uh so actually you know what it's actually pretty oh no wait i, I do have this move but i also have this move so choices 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 um <coughs> so this is a fork ooh 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 okay uh <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm gonna tempt. Uh, I'm gonna tempt Curie to trade, and see if he sees his fork. Uh, but it's actually very difficult. Oh no, you, you got this move. So I think if you queen trade, takes takes. I think th I think there's only one move. Or, yeah, that loses a rook. I think this is the only move. Oh, I guess this move too. But then I can move my knight and just capture, and then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, okay, I, I'm not going to go for the rooks. Uh, in my opinion, I'm actually remarkably safe. So, I'm going to go for the king first. I'm going to go for the king first, and then I'm going to... How do you even defend this? This is fucking crazy. Go here. How do you defend this? Yeah, he, he just sacked way too many pieces early on. And those are sacrifices that had no follow-up. Because, like, he did not have a lead in development. And that's checkmate. Alright, GG. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think he sacked way too much. And I just played a watertight game. So, yeah. GG. GG's. Alright, thank you, Curie, for the games. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed.